Hey guys, happy Halloween. Today, Apple is unloading the gifts starting with iOS 10.1.1. And these updates, man, they are furious. They are here literally like every week. So if you guys aren't tired of updating your phone yet, there's another one today. So what's new in this update? What's changed? Of course, the basics. And I wanted to talk to you guys everything about this update. So first off, it's about 200 megabytes, so not very big. Uh, definitely recommend it to update for anyone that's on 10. 10.1. So what does it do? Well, the only change in this update is health data related. So for some people, if you would go inside of the health application, it just would not load your information. So now this issue has been resolved on 10.1.1. And that's pretty much the only thing this focuses on is fixing that to where you can see your health data if you uh, haven't before. Aside from that, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple other things related to this update. So of course, performance and storage. But before updating, I had a uh, 1.7. 107.25 and 0.74 available in capacity it went down to 0.73 and I got a little bit of storage back. So welcome little change right there. As far as performance goes, I'm going to run a Geekbench before and after in just a second. But I wanted to see if Apple fixed the lock screen bypass. I'm going to go ahead and perform the actions to get this bypass working. So that means inside of the phone, you got to go in here. And I honestly think they fixed it at this point. They must have heard about it. Uh, so let's go to sound, pick a song, and if the share settings are still here, that means the bypass is still working. Oh, yep, it should still be good. All right, so let's say this and jump in here and lock the phone. So now from the lock screen, if I jump into the clock right here, yes. So uh, the bleed through is still there. Apple is uh, slacking. You guys, what's what's going on? So from the lock device, as you guys can see, the lock is still there. You go up to your clock and you can jump in through this back door into the photos. I thought that Apple would have fixed this by now on 10.1.1, but apparently not. This one is still here. So they did fix a couple of my big bugs uh, from the prank video series uh, on 10.1 and they're still patched in 10.1.1. So sad to see those go like uh, the respring bug and the glitch, the fake virus glitch no longer works. And also one little thing, I wanted to address uh, something I was talking about in the last update. So when 10.1 released, I was telling you guys how slow my phone was like closing applications, doing it at the same time on my phone and other phones, it'd be so much slower. Even opening up the app switchers, just this delay. So if you guys have anything like that, like a slow phone, I want to show you guys how to fix it real quick. For me, it was because I set up a triple click shortcut on my device. So go into general accessibility and go all the way down to accessibility shortcut. If you have anything selected here, your phone is going to be slow on 10.1.1, even the latest firmware. So as soon as you uncheck this, check this out. It exits just as fast. Well, almost it might take a minute, but there we go. So uh, pretty much just as quick now, but as soon as you have that filter selected. And by the way, mine is for a triple click to get the lower light, which is really cool. But as soon as you enable it again, your phone is slow. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. The triple click shortcut makes your phone slow. And I thought it was because of the poor optimization. Apparently not. All right. So real quick, uh, let's go ahead and get that Geekbench. I'm going to see if this version is any different. All right. And there we are. 3486, 56, 16 compared to last time. Ah, actually a good improvement on the multi-core on the single core, a little bit higher as well. So welcome change. It looks like it's a great update. Um, really not much to talk about besides the health fix, but yeah, feel free to update. As far as the jailbreak goes, I heard somewhere that 10.0.3 and below was the best shot at uh, getting a jailbreak if you stayed there not to update past 10.1 because it included a ton of fixes, including one major one, uh, the JPEG parsing issue. So it, you could open up a JPEG image on the internet and it would gain access into your device. So using that exploit, it could be possible to make a jailbreak from, and it only exists on 10.0.3 and below. Unfortunately, today Apple stopped signing 10.0.3 and 10.0.2, meaning it's no longer possible to downgrade. So if you're looking for a jailbreak, and you're on 10.0.3 or below, stay there as uh, that's the best shot right now at getting a jailbreak right there. So uh, yeah, I just want you guys to know that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Enjoy the update. Have a great day. Peace.